days their shuttle had been silently clasped to the hull of the Orpheus. Tap, tap, tap. Throughout that time, the Charon Tid had been battle ready, prepared for combat without need of sleep or sustenance. A hulking great mass of muscle encased in power armor, built and engineered for the purpose of leading the combined army on assaults against its enemies. And it was bored. Tap, tap, tap. It continued to wrap its fingers on the command chair's armrest. The Shazvasti were able infiltrators and showed an unworldly patience, but his blood screamed for the intensity of combat. However much he wanted to just breach the freighter and bring death to its human occupants, the enhanced intelligence's orders rang through its brain and prevented his own will from taking complete control. Tap. 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 The ship they had come in on was adept at keeping itself stealthed from their prey, but it still took two hackers to mask their presence, working in tandem without stop, and although they had come with a full team, they were not like him and tired easily in comparison. Such weak things, these Shazvasti. But the EI in its wisdom makes good use of them. Tap. 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 The hacker to his left focused all attention on stealthing their ship from any scans from the Orpheus, while the hacker to his right was in charge of monitoring the freighter's system's activities, giving them forewarning of possible detection. A ping pops up on the Charented's virtual display. It stops wrapping its clawed fingers and they become a fist. The report highlights the Aleph human is digging deep into the system's diagnostics and she may have found an irregularity. If she continues this search, she will discover their presence. Finally, an end to this cowardly hiding. Time to make their presence felt. Its fist comes down, nearly shattering the armrest. The charanted stands, giving a guttural roar mixed with chattering teeth like a cross between a ferocious animal and insect. The Shazvasti Nox troopers sitting at standby along the walls of the ship suddenly stand to attention, grabbing their rifles and forming into teams. They all take positions at the breaching door, where the ship had previously made a vacuum seal with the Orpheus's hull. A large cannon dispenses from the ceiling and maneuvers into a position to point toward the breaching door. The Charantid takes a position at the front, his head next to the barrel of the great cannon. It shoulders a plasma cannon the full length of a fully grown human. It takes a deep breath, taking in the quiet before the storm. Its teeth chatter in exhilaration for the upcoming battle. Silence sits for a moment time appearing to stop as the alien soldiers stand ready. Nox troopers grip their combi rifles with clawed hands, all eyes focused on the breaching door. Sparks move in controlled lines, burning through to the Orpheus, as the breaching lasers meet, making a clean, red-hot rectangle in the door, it falls away, revealing the innards of the Orpheus. That's when the cannon runs white hot and releases a barrage directed at the opening. The force of the blast shoots like a railgun through the freighter, severing the engine from the thrusters of the ship, causing it to drift dead in space. This wasn't a matter of luck. The Shazvasti were very thorough when it came to collecting information. Through their infiltration efforts, they had full schematics of the ship they had attached themselves to. It meant that they not only could hide their presence from the crew, but also position themselves to disable the ship when combat was to begin. And now combat had begun, and the Charantid's blood began to sing. The teams of Nox fanned out through the opening and made their way through the corridors of the ship. The Charantid made slow, purposeful movements as it ducked its immense mass through the breaching door and brought its great plasma cannon to bear. 
Through its tactical display, the Charantid sends waves of his Nox troops to hunt down the Aleph at the bridge of the ship. It wished so much to bring her to her knees and crush her in his might. As soon as it had the thought, it dropped the plasma cannon in agony and grabbed at its own head. It felt like there was a vice-like grip inside its brain, squeezing until it was going to pop. The voice of the EI screamed inside his head. The aspect of Aleph is not to be killed. Not yet. The force paralyzing the Charantid suddenly released and it dropped to its knees. The Charantid's teeth smash together in frustration as it reaches for its firearm and brings itself back up to its full height. A report comes up on its display of a sighting of the Doctor and Smuggler just before the Nox sending the transmission falls prey to the Smuggler's gunfire. The Charantid turns on the spot and, beguiling its size, steps into a full sprint toward the transmission's source location. Every impact on the corridor's floor reverberates the walls with the sheer force of the Charantid's gate. A team of Nox are already engaged with the Doctor and Smuggler, but are held back by the two crew members' suppressive fire. The Charantid imagined itself blasting the smuggler into oblivion, and a sharp pain struck its temple. It quickly discarded the thought and moved its murderous thoughts toward the doctor. Nothing. Good, then that meant that the EI considered him to be acceptable collateral damage. As it rounded the corner to the human's position, a blast door closes shut cutting off the Charantid and the Nox from catching their prey. With a roar of frustration, the Charantid charges the door. As the great beast slams into the blast door, it buckles, but holds. Putting the plasma cannon to the ground, the Charantid braces its claws either side of the blast door and with all its strength puts its full body weight slamming into the door. It begins to bend out of shape and sensing it will be broken through soon, the Nox assemble themselves, ready to take chase. Another slam echoes through the ship's corridors, followed by another, each one tearing more of the blast doors away until finally a hole is made large enough for the Nox to jump through. As the squad tear down the corridor in chase of the humans, the Charantid grips the opening with both hands and using all its might, its muscles bulge with intensity as it forces the blast doors apart. The motors of the door push back, preventing them from opening any more, but acrid smoke begins to pour out from under the strain. The Charantid roars and pushes with great effort and a gear can be heard breaking as the doors fly apart. With only a single deep breath, the Charantid picks up its cannon and leaps into a sprint. The Charantid stops suddenly and turns to look back down the corridor it came from. His link with the knots had just given him a jolt and then the report came in. Two of the hackers back on the ship had just been burnt out to husks and they had lost control of their ship. A guttural rumble of frustration emitted from the Charantid's throat as he sent orders to the remaining hackers on the ship to wrest back control. Even knowing the Orpheus's hacker had helped cover their presence from the Aleph, it could not help having another murderous thought toward him. This was quickly stifled by the EI's presence in his mind. It quickly refocused its efforts towards the Doctor and continued its sprint down the corridors toward the docking bay that the humans were clearly heading for. Reports came in from the other teams in the station and they were faring poorly. The aspect of Aleph had set explosives throughout the ship and many of the Nox fire teams had been led into trap after trap as they attempted to hound the security agent. Foolish creatures. So adept at information gathering, yet blindsided so easily in their ignorance and self-assured nature. Another blast door. Putting a palm to the door, the Charantid could feel the vibrations of muffled gunfire. And an explosion. Then nothing. 
time to break through and give these humans something to truly fear. Dropping its gun to the floor again, the Charantid rubs its hands together and punches a tear in the door. Not enough to break through, it gives the monster a grip and it pulls with all its might. Slowly but surely, the blast door begins to separate. Soon enough, a gap between the doors opens and it's enough for the Charantid to put all his upper strength into the top door and push down with a foot on the lower. With the increased leverage, the blast door slides open as if there had been no resistance to begin with. Smoke poured from the blast doors and the Nox poured into the docking bay taking positions of cover while laying down combi rifle fire. Gunfire returned from the small dropship with its ramp lowered at the end of the docking bay, but had little effect on the Shazvasti advance. Then two more of the crew joined the first and the firepower tripled from the little dropship. This was enough to stop the Nox fire teams and cause them to hold their positions in cover as the firefight raged. It may have been cause for concern for the weak Shazvasti, but it was not for the Charantid. The aspect of the enhanced intelligence itself. The gargantuan creature stepped forth, combi rifle rounds pinging all around, some even making contact with its armour. But at this range, the rounds had little to no effect, and the monster kept closing the space between it and the dropship. With its optically enhanced visor, the Charantid was able to make out the faces of the human crew. It drank in their fear and shock crossing their eyes as their gunfire did nothing to slow its approach. Time to give them something to really be fearful for. What could only be described as a playful grin crossed the creature's awful face as it raised its great gun. A white hot glow builds from the gun's reactor and then releases with great force. The light of the projectile zips through the air creating a tunnel through the smoke before exploding on the ramp at the feet of the hacker. The Charantid's teeth chattered in delight as the hacker's white pale face drained of blood at how close the shot had come. That was for burning two of its Nox hackers out and disabling its ship, and although it could not kill the hacker, even if it wanted to, it could still put the fear of death into him. Time to stop playing. Now it was time to destroy the Doctor, the one human it did have permission to kill. Bringing the gun to bear and cycling up its power core, the Charantid brimmed with anticipation as he put the Doctor into its sights. Just as it was about to pull the trigger, the damn Aleph woman stepped across his line of fire, blocking its shot. The Charantid tried to pull the trigger anyway, but lost control of his muscles as the EI paralyzed its body with pain. The power core of his gun winds down and the built up energy vents out the sides of the gun. Now released from the EI's grip, it looked back to the Aleph. She was carrying something. A large container of some kind. With surprising strength, the woman swings the container and releases it, causing it to sail through the air and land a few feet from the Charantid. Looking from the container and back to the Aleph, it sees a… smile? The Charantid brings up his arms in front of its face as blinding light and heat erupt from the container. As it climatizes to the sudden light and vision returns clearly, a wall of fire separates it from the dropship. Quickly, the Charantid recovers from the disorientation and its visor enhances its vision through the fire and smoke. The dropship's boarding ramp has already retracted and the ship is rising up from the docking bay floor as its engines ramp up and it prepares to leave the fallen freighter. The Charantid steps through the fire, unfazed by the heat and looks out into the space beyond. The escaping ship draws away into the black void. The Charantid's eyes then focus on the planet below, Paradiso. Its visor brings up a star map of the system. It zooms close to the position of the Orpheus approaching the orbit of Paradiso. Nothing else. They cannot have lost them. A status report from their ship comes back. The hacker had crippled them very effectively and the systems were currently undergoing a complete reboot. 
He had done too good of a job to keep his cover solid with the rest of his crew. The anger in the Charantid began to rise before the hand of the EI in its mind, instead of squeezing and paralyzing it, soothed and caressed, sending feelings of complete relaxation. The EI spoke from within, calming and reassuring him that it should have faith. Ping. A small red dot appeared on his star map. Slowly making its way to the surface of the planet, the hacker had activated a tracker. Their dropship was going to lead them straight to O12. And once there, nothing would hold the Charantid back from engaging in its bloodlust. A wave of ecstasy flowed through its muscles. Soon, child, they will have no escape. <laughs>